it really seems that the Israeli army managed to deliver a very hard blow to the militia party Hezbollah, destroying all these infrastructures, which would have helped eventually Hezbollah militiamen to infiltrate Israel in order to fight a potential war between the two countries. We remain now in Israel with another story. Unfortunately, we're shifting on a lighter note. The TV series Fauda is launching the third series. Well, if you haven't watched it, you may want to catch up and watch the first two seasons, but it is launching with a lot of critiques also. Thank you. Fauda in Arabic means chaos. And it is also one of the most popular TV series shot in West Asia. It tells the story of an elite commando of the Israeli Defense Forces operating undercover inside Palestinian territories. Doron, the main character, leads his team on a hunt to capture and kill a terrorist known as the Panther, which they believed they had already killed. The Israeli unit belongs to the Mishtar Avim, a special elite commando tasked with assimilating into the Arab population to conduct raids, gather intelligence and arrest people they want to interrogate. The show became a success all over the world and is now entering its third season which will be staged in the Gaza Strip and it is way more challenging than it sounds. It's quite challenging from two perspectives. First of all, we're trying to deal in part of the show with Gaza, meaning that our team is in Gaza at some part of the, of the third season. And how can you make uh, a location in Israel to, looks like, to look like Gaza? We cannot go to Gaza, of course, and to shoot it. So this is why it's so challenging to find the right places that would give the feeling that we're almost there. Then, on the, the second level, is that Gaza is a very problematic issue for the Israeli audience. It's, uh, it deals with one of the biggest fears of the Israeli audience, maybe because of Gilad Shalit's uh, five years in prison over there, maybe because people do not know Gaza. So many few people were in Gaza, and this is why it's also, we know that we're touching something very sensitive at the heart of the Israeli audience, and it's not going to be easy. Fans wait to see how the producer will manage to replicate a place they have never seen. And so do the critics. Many have criticized the Fauda for being too pro-Israel, portraying Israeli soldiers as heroes and Palestinian characters either as terrorists or as their supporters. We're trying to bring also the human side, even though they are our enemies, we're trying to bring the human side of them as characters, as, uh, as family, family people, with kids, with love, with, uh, with every, every challenge that we have as human beings. Many Palestinians have refused to watch it, and the pro-Palestine boycott and disinvestment movement called for a boycott, defining the show, quote, anti-Arab, racist and Israeli propaganda tool that glorifies the Israeli military war crimes against the Palestinian people." Unquote. I don't see that uh, the show really affects reality on the ground in a way that you know, it's encouraging peace or encouraging the, the conflict. And the show is just an attempt by us, by Leo and myself, to be a good show, to be a good drama. Uh, it's sometimes very interesting and very intense. Sometimes it's very emotional and gripping. I would say that you know, none of us has uh, intentions of changing reality or bringing peace to this planet. Uh, especially when we're dealing with the Israeli and Palestinian conflict, it's kind of mission impossible. And though we're not, you know, Fauda open up a kind of an, a window to the other side, for both sides, to have a look. But even Tom Cruise, I don't think that would help here in this mission impossible to bring solution for the Israeli-Palestinian conflict.
The show does provide, though, a glimpse into some aspects of life amid one of the longest unresolved conflict in contemporary history. Many things that uh, you would see in Fauda are in a kind of dialogue with reality. It's not that 100% that happened in reality, but we took we were inspired by true stories, we were inspired by true characters, and sometimes we invented characters and stories that we found later in reality. So it's a kind of a dialogue in between reality and fiction that makes Fauda what it is. The release date has not been made public yet, and to gather an opinion, there is no better way than watching the first two seasons if you still haven't.